So you'd want to know where the best places to farm experience and silver are. I did the testing for you guys and we're going to cover it. It's legit. If this is your first time on my channel, make sure you check out the description down below for some additional badass Black Desert Mobile content. You won't be disappointed. Before we get into the material, I have two things to cover. I am starting a new campaign. It's 25k subs for face reveal. I know everybody's like, wow, that's a lot of subs. Uh, it's been nine months. I'm at 10k subs. I feel like we can get there in you know, about six more months at the trends. And we will continue to chug along. So I will be talking about that. And you will see that around with some funny little stuff. So if you enjoy my content, make sure you hit that subscribe button. The second thing I want to talk to you guys about is my document. It's called the End All Be All document. It's just loaded with a plethora of goodies. I did set up a Patreon and a membership for my channel. If you want to support me, by all means, hit me up on one of those. You're welcome to hop on my Discord. You can find all this in the description down below and be a part of this badass team thank you guys so much and without further ado let's dive right in the first thing we have to cover is variables because everybody at different levels is going to be a different variable so if you're a level 61 you're going to get different percent gain than you were at 65 so all tests were done at level 64 all tests were done with no additional buffs so no chicken soups no hot time event no bagels or anything else uh, my altar was at level 11 my combat power was between 4,300 and 4,400 as my CP raised. All tests uh, were done prior to this current hot time event. Uh, and then note the results may vary based off of your current CP and that the results that I've recorded. So uh, some of the results might not be accurate. So if I was higher CP, I might be able to farm more successfully. So this is just what I've tested. I did test every area to try to find out where the best areas are. And it is pretty interesting, some of the findings that I did find. So let's talk about the fifth best place to farm for experience, and that's Hasra Ruins, Maine. To start us off, you do get 2% experience per hour. Average, again, all of these numbers I'm about to talk about were at the variables I just went over. Great repeatable quest at seven good stones each. Possibility of dropping a red helmet and shoes. Has good mob density in some areas. However, it does have a low silver per hour. And it is better than North Medea so that it's not as populated at the moment. The suggested CP is 4400, so you do have to be a little bit stronger. It does have the chance to drop those unknown fragments, worth the which are worth 311 silver each. And you can see the repeatable quest and what it drops on the left over there as well. Coming in at number four is Kron Underwater. And you're going to start to see a theme here. Kron Underwater is giving you 2.1% experience per hour on average. Has great mob density areas. However, it does have a low silver per hour average. Has a terrible repeatable quest of only three good stones each. Does have the possibility of dropping red gloves and shoes though, and it is a better farming area right now than North Medea because it's not as populated. The suggested CP is 4100. You can farm there pretty successfully at the very moment. Coming in at number three is Hasra Ruins Entrance, giving you 2.23% experience per hour on average. Has a great repeatable quest at eight good stones each, which is actually one better than Hasra Ruins Mage, which only gives you seven. Does have a low silver per hour rate. Has good mob density, however, very few areas with this density because a lot of the map is filled up with NPCs. Does give you the possibility of dropping that red helmet. And just like the other ones, it's not North Medea area, so it is not quite as populated right now. The suggested CP is 4,000 CP, and that is number three. Soldier's Grave is coming in at number two at a whopping 2.63% experience per hour on average without a hot time. So if you had a hot time, I mean, you could probably pull like four or five percent out of that bad boy. Has a good repeatable quest with six good stones each. Does have the possibility of dropping a red helmet. It has a low silver per hour rate. Has great mob density in many locations. Again, it is not in North Medea location, so it's not quite as populated right now. It does have a suggested CP of 3,400, so a lot more people can farm this area. Aside from the gear, all these locations do have the same drop items as well, such as the new yellow skill books for our new Ascended classes. And coming in at number one, the best place to farm for experience is Soldier's Grave Depths at 2.73% experience per hour on average. And if you notice the trend, every single place that was best to farm for experience is not in North Medea. Does have a great repeatable quest as well with six good black stones each. Does have the possibility of dropping that red helmet. It does, however, have a low silver per hour. Again, if you notice that trend, none of the best experienced places have very good silver opportunities per hour. Has great mob density. It is a good spot to farm right now because it's not in North Medea. And it does have a suggested CP of 3,700. So that's the best places to farm for experience. Now let's go over the best places to farm for silver. 
Coming in at number 5 is Helm Cave, giving you 1,650,000 silver per hour on average. Has great mob density locations. It does offer low experience per hour at 1.56%. It does have the possibility of dropping that orange 2 slot helmets. Does have a suggested CP at 3650. It does also have the best repeatable quests in the game. You can pick up the repeatable quests at Helm Cave and Helm Highland Highlands, and that is two at the same time. You can go to any three of the Helm areas and knock out those two repeatable quests and double dip. So I definitely recommend doing that for these areas, and that is number five. Helm Outpost came in at number four at 1,700,000 silver, just above Helm Cave. Does have great mob density location. Has the best experience per hour in North Medea locations, and all of them at 1.9% per hour possibility of dropping that orange two slot helmet as well does have the suggested cp at 3600 and the same story with the best repeatable quest you can pick those up at the same exact places and you can do those in either of the helms areas number three is quite a shock to be honest with you rumbling lands offering 1,750,000 silver per hour on average it has very bad mob density locations it's one of the lowest experience per hour for as far as experience at 0.83 percent an hour does have the possibility of dropping that two-slot orange main hand weapon, though. Suggested CP is 3,400. Does also have a poor repeatable quest at only three good black stones. The reason this area does so well is because of those broken golem fragments at 1,172 silver each. So if you can find a decent location with somewhat good mob density, you could farm there successfully. Other than that, it's just not a very good area to farm. Number two is Elric Shrine, offering 1,883,000 silver per hour on average, has very good mob density location, has decent experience at 1.63% compared to other North Medea locations, offers the possibility of dropping two slot orange boots, suggested CP is 3,800, it does have a bad repeatable quest though at killing 5,000 mobs instead of 1,800, so you get seven good black stones. When you do the highlands and the cave one, so you double dip, you get eight good black stones. You can knock out those two quests at 2.77 times the rate, which is, you know, the 5,000 mobs. So if you times eight black stones by 2.77, that's 22 good black stones instead of only seven. So you get a lot more good black stones at the Helms areas. However, you do get a lot more silver at Elric Shrines. The best place to farm silver right now is Elric Canyon. According to my testings, it's giving you 1,966,000 silver per hour. Very good mob density locations. Does also offer decent experience per hour at 1.73%. Has a possibility of dropping that two slot orange boots. Suggested CP of 3,800. It shares the same bad repeatable quest as Elric Shrines. Has to be picked up from Elric Shrines as well. So that's the top five best locations for experience and for silver per hour. To recap, Soldier's Grave Depths is number one, Soldier's Grave Regulars two, Hosra Ruins Entrance three, Cron Underwater, and then Hosra Ruins Main for experience. And then for silver, you have Elric Cannon at number one, Shrine at number two, Rambling, Rumbling Lands at number three, Helm Outpost, and then Helm Cave at number five. For the pro tips... Make sure you grab both the repeatable quests in Helm Highlands and Helm Cave. You can do those in any of the Helm's locations, and it does count, and you can double dip. Shout out to my subscribers. They did uh, help me out on, and let me know about that on my last video, so shout out to you guys. Appreciate it. Just making sure everybody knows. Pre-North Medea levels offer the best experience, while North Medea levels offer the most silver. So pretty much Pearl Abyss and Black Desert Mobile are saying you can't have your cake and eat it too. As far as the sauce and locations and the sauce and pouches, if you can farm there successfully, do they do have the opportunity to be the best silver locations. You probably are going to be looking to be above 4,600 CP in order to farm there successfully to where you're making the enough silver to overcome it. Because I'm just not killing enough mods quick enough at that 4,400 CP. Again, here's all the info that I did get. I did only did get to do three tests per location. That is like 4550 tests. However, as you notice, I did farm and test out Cron Patrol and Lava Field just to test it out. They did offer good experience, better than all the North Medea locations their silver wasn't that great though so that is everything for this video i hope this helps you guys out i appreciate you guys stopping by if you've enjoyed make sure you hit that subscribe button for the path to 25k with that being said i will see you next time